What's up YouTube, Chris Gaines here, back at it again with another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create an epic echoing silhouette effect, which is perfect for music videos, but is super versatile and can be applied to plenty of other creative projects. Now let's hop straight into it. I came up with this effect while staring at a media bin full of green screen footage with no idea of what to do. I eventually built the effect out of three main layers. The original green screen footage, a two-tone effect, and the colorful echoes. Let's move to a new sequence so I can build the effect again from the ground up. The first step is to key your green screen footage. I used an amazing tutorial by 8-Bit Digital and I'll link that in the description below. You can use the keying effect in Premiere like Color Key or use After Effects like I do. Now I'm going to replace my original footage with the keyed footage. Next, I'm going to copy this footage and place it on the timeline twice. Simply select it, hit Control C, and move the target track to V2, Control V to paste, and then I'll do the same thing on V3 from the beginning. Now we're going to create the time offset between these tracks. If we treat this top track as our main track, then we're going to delay the second and third tracks beneath it to the right a certain number of frames to give us a nice laggy effect or echo effect. I can do this by clicking on the track, holding Alt, and pressing the right arrow key, the number of frames I want to move the track. As you can see, I've moved this track over twice. Let's move the bottom track over four times. When we play this back, you should see the echoes behind the original footage. Now we're going to start colorizing our footage. Let's start by turning off these two bottom layers and work only on the top one. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to our effects panel and search for the effect called Threshold. Add this to the top footage. And now let's go to our effects controls. And what you're going to do is adjust the effect to your liking. I like it around 60. Now we're going to add the Invert effect. You can go back to the tab, type in invert, and add that to your layer. And it's not necessary for you to use invert here. This is just giving you an option to switch up the way that your colors are represented. Lastly, we're going to add the change to color effect. This effect is going to allow you to take the white and turn it into any color that you want in order to give much more vibrant effects. I'm going to change white to a sky blue. Go to change and use hue, lightness, and saturation to make sure that it can affect everything. Change the change by selection from setting to color to transforming to color. This allows your two-tone to show through. Now let's see what that looks like. Pretty cool. Let's start working on the next track. Going to unhide it down here. And what we want to do is make this top layer start to blend interestingly with the layers below it. So with this one selected, we're gonna go back to the opacity tab and select linear burn. As you can see, you're going to get an interesting effect being able to see through to the layer below it. Once we add color effects to these bottom layers, the effects will get even crazier. Let's copy all the effects from the top layer to the second layer. We can do this by clicking threshold, and holding Control and selecting the other two effects. Then press Control C, select the second track, choose the effects controls, and press Control V. Let's go ahead and set the opacity blend mode to overlay. This is going to have a different effect on the layer that's going to show up below it. Let's adjust the threshold until you can no longer see any black parts on the second layer. We want this to be a complete silhouette. You can set the second layer to any color you want. In my case, I decided to use the invert effect and shift the green channel. This gives me a nice magenta silhouette. And as you can see, these layers are starting to blend in really interesting ways. If you want to change the color again, you can do so with this effect. But lastly, let's add a posterized time effect to this layer.
This effect will give a nice stuttery effect and will allow the background layers to stand out more from the top layer. It's currently set to the My Project frame rate of 24 frames per second. What I'm going to do is turn that down to half, or 12 frames per second. Let's see what this looks like now. Now let's copy the effects from the second clip down to the third one. Hold Ctrl again, select all of my effects. Press Ctrl C, and move down to the third clip and paste with Ctrl V. Now again, I want this clip to look different from the other two, so I'm going to invert the blue channel instead of the green channel. Now when we play back the final effect, we have this. Obviously, you can go crazy with this and add a ton more effects and different things in order to make it unique to your project. If you want to add a nice colorful background to the colorful image that you've already created, you can do that by going to your project and creating a new color mat. Hit OK. Select your color. Hit OK again. And you're going to want to drag this underneath all of your footage. And that's how you create an echoing silhouette effect in Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to teach you something that you can go out and apply and work in your own projects. And hopefully you'll come up with something even crazier. With that said, please like the video, drop a comment down below if you have any questions or have any suggestions, and subscribe for more videos coming very soon. Until next time, peace out.